All right, everybody, this week we're going to work on a MIG welding project. MIG welding projects, we're going to utilize this little plasma torch right here. That's a plasma cutter. I'm going to reach down here and just turn it on. Big switch in the back. This runs off of compressed air. Commonly, these are all just compressed air. The difference between plasma and oxy fuel is plasma runs like compressed air, where oxy fuel uses straight oxygen. Straight oxygen allows for us to actually burn the iron. All right, so our little cutting table. This cutting table here has copper bars. That's what we're actually cutting off. If you look at it real quick, you'll see that kind of green color versus that orange color. That green is copper. So when we go to cut the bar, it really resists that. So this is a nice longevity table. Great table, I love this table. We have a stack of our ribbon here. This is just that uh, 16 gauge hot rolled, cutting it in one and a half inch ribbons. For this week's drill, you're gonna need five pieces put together, just like so. So I have five pieces, just like that. One, two, three, four, five. All I want is pieces about this big, about four to five inches. So we're just gonna cut those off real quick. Boom, boom. Now with a helmet, we're gonna be using these helmets. We don't want it to turn on. We want it to stay with just the green screen that's there. So you can take the sensitivity here on the right, and just turn it all the way down. Be sure to turn it back up before you start welding or it's going to be very bright for you. But just this last knob here, we're going to turn all the way counterclockwise. Best to use some of these yellow gloves. Nice, flexible for your hands. And run the torch. Just like so. Very important to use our little rip guide here. You can tell it's our rip guide, see? Just like that. Just cavil on it. And we're just going to set this on the deck here. Pick the gun up off the ground. Set this on the deck. A little safety lever right here. We just gotta get that up out of our way. Most important thing here is we're just gonna put this right on the deck. This is actually a drag tip, those little castle tips. Allow this thing to drag. Put it right on the deck, squeeze the trigger, hold. It's just nice and smooth, pull across like so. Ready, here we go. push this table up out of the way get our five pieces real quick like move the hose we don't want to run over any of our hoses or wires just move those out of the way and just push this table slightly out of the way get our five pieces this is all we need to do this little lab for this week so we're starting off plasma cutting got a plasma cut first and then turn around and get your five pieces just like so all right, we're gonna head on into lab, but before we do, let's go ahead and shut this little guy off. When the last person in your group's done, just reach over here and flip the breaker off. Just takes a second. Come on into lab now. The wire feed machines are the bigger machines. They're the ones with a big copper looking spool on them. They look like this guy right here. That is our booth right there. They are every other booth, just like the TIG was every other booth. Right? So now, get our pieces. Be sure to pull your helmet down. Go ahead and turn that sensitivity back up to that recommended triangle. Boom. And then you go down as low as a nine. Let's go ahead and go fast. And just make sure it's still on again. Good. See a blink. So we went to fast delay, nine on the darkness, on the shade setting, and then that recommended sensitivity gauge. First, we're going to start off with is just an I beam in the shape of a T. Here we go. I'm just going to tack it and then tag it here too. It's a little bit warped. It's pulled over to that side. So if I will on this side, it's going to pull it back straight. Here we go.
just like so. A little miss right there, but the rest looks pretty good. Now that was backhand. Wire feed, and then this particular situation, this is short circuit transfer, has an interesting ability to be able to go backhand or forehand. Here we go. Again, with just a little curse of ease. Now, this is very, very hot. So be cautious, you can burn yourself very easy with this. I'm gonna take mine out to the water. That's what that big water bin is before behind, is for, but they're behind our class. Take it out there, and I'll show you if you drop your piece, there's a way to get it back out too. So short circuit transfer, Argon CO2. Dip that in there real quick, bring it out. These little handles right here will allow you to pull this bottom out in the event you drop anything, just like so. All right, looks like we've re repurposed the magnet there to something else now. I'm gonna go in and let's do the next one. So first we have just a T-beam, just a T-joint, a couple of two T-joints on a T-beam. Here we go. Now we're gonna make it into the I-beam. Tack it in a couple spots here. Sometimes when spinner spatters like that, you just want to push the gun a little closer. Let's make it a little easier. Just weld like so. Just like that. And then we'll do this one forehand again. Here we go. And just like that. Fairly easy so far. hot there so I'm gonna take it out back again cool it down just like so I'm gonna abbreviate this one right here so a couple little joints looking good looking good probably should have a guard on the camera but I don't I'm just now realizing and in the water again we go just like so that should be pretty easy nice smooth even pace should work out very nicely for you. Good. Coming back in now. The next easiest joint could be a lap joint. Let's just tack that. And again, and then I'll do this forehand. Here we go. 